Okay, so I'm back for part two of my second visit, I think, to Chapel's Beauty Supply. And this is lip glosses and nail polishes. And I just wanted to mention one thing, so um, just to even out my eye look, um, I had applied um, the uh, one of the glitter dual ended mascaras on um, this one on my left eye and just to even out. But I wanted to try out this one with the fiber mascara base and the intense volume mascara. And I must say, I really, really like this one. But I ended up trying this out over top of it and it did the same thing. It kind of clumped them together. Like, it was much more... I mean, it looks like I have fewer lashes, but with this alone, it looked really, really nicely. So I'm going to have to do another video, I think, with this separately. Because I really, really like this. This base, it actually really did help my lashes and it looked really nicely before I applied this. I may have to, um, I have to play around with these glitters a little bit more, um, and wait for the mascara to completely dry before applying this and I'm hoping that it will um, keep the lashes from clumping together but anyway sorry wrong way but that's what it looks like so I'll do a separate video of this because um, I'm actually was pretty pleased with how those turned out um, without the glitter. So, on to the lip glosses. And I guess I should have removed some of these swatches off. I guess I'll just have to use... I'm not sure. Um, so, I'm going to try and make this quick, but I'm not sure because I've got quite a bit still left to do. So, this is some lip gloss by LA Colors. This one is called Delightful. Um, and this is just like a... going to be more of a sheer gloss and it just has this type of brush and let me just do this on this side here and again this is going to be just a sheer gloss not much color an okay smell doesn't smell makeup and it's not necessarily fruity this is another LA colors this is gloss and go and yeah, these are gloss and go on the on the go pocket lip glosses, and this one is called Seduced, and this is like a glittery, deeper type purple. And again, this one is actually a little bit more pigmented than the other one, which you can barely see. The other first one is probably just gonna look pretty much clear with just a little sip and shimmer. And this next one is called Sherbert, also from LA Colors Gloss and Go. This is a coral colored. I'm sorry if I didn't show the first, the second one, Seduce, and then Delightful here. So you can see the difference in the colors. And then here is Sherbert. This one does not have, appear to have any shimmer in it. But this one does look like it's going to be pretty sheer as well. Yeah. This one really doesn't have any color payoff either. Um, I mean, I guess you could probably build it up maybe. And they're fairly thin. So, um, again, and they have a decent smell. They don't have that makeup-y smell. So... Let's see, the rest of them are, let's see, I got some, let me see, some LA Colors um, Eyeliner in Electric Blue. I should have opened these beforehand, but I didn't, so I guess either I'll do a separate video or when I use it, I'll do a first impressions. I've not used any LA Colors liners, and I'm hoping this blue will actually be kind of more vibrant than the blue liner that I used while I was down there. And then I got another LA Colors. This one is also in charcoal. Hmm. And again, this is another um, 
pencil and these were I think a dollar. They're 99 cents. And these are, I don't believe these are the retractable ones. These are the ones you need to sharpen, I believe. Um, this one is a lip liner and it is a retractable one, an auto lip liner. This is in the color Curat. Sorry, there we go. And I actually had opened this one just to see. This actually is a good match for the um, Diva um, MAC lip color that I bought. Goes on pretty smooth, nicely pigmented, really nice, and again, just a retractable one. So this one, you could just fill in your entire lips with that. And this next one is kind of similar to that one. This one's called Mauve, and this is also another auto lip liner. So this is a retractable one. I have not opened this one, but here is the color here. So um, I'm thinking this would be one that I could wear, fill in my lips, and just do a clear gloss over top of that. And that is all of the lip liners that I bought. Um, and the LA Colors. This last thing, something, again, my husband picked up. This is the Clean Color Iconic Brow Gel. Um, I think this was $1.49. And this is in the color. I don't know what color it is, but it does have a mirror here on back. And it, I don't know what the point of that is, really. Um, it's just got kind of the spoolie, like the eyeliner. It's very, very thick, so I'm not really sure. I've not used the brow gel. I'm not sure about that one. Again, my husband was just picking up stuff, throwing it in my basket. So the next things I got are quite a few lip glosses and a few J Cat and the rest I think are the Nana Coco Laugh Out Loud. So let me start with the J Cat because I only got like four of those. This is a very pretty like berry colored one. And this is called Red Violet. And I haven't tried these so This one has more of like a makeup y type smell. It's not a pleasant, but gives you some decent color. So that here is red violet. This one there. Again, not necessarily a pleasant smell. This next color is called clear pink. So again, this one's probably not going to give much payoff, just be kind of shimmery. And I didn't pay attention to the names. I thought this one was going to be more opaque. Yeah, this is just... This one will have no color payoff on my pigmented lips. So that is right there next to the red violet. So this would just have like some bits of shimmer. So this would be good to pair over top of the mauve lip liner if I wanted to wear the lip liner by itself because it won't change the color of the actual lip liner. And this next one is a like coppery shimmery one. And this is called Flame, also, the, also by J Cat Beauty. And you have to excuse the chipness of my nails. I need to badly redo them. And I need to, there you go, get my video up um, of my demo and review of the KISS gel system. Um, that's what I put on my nails prior to going to Atlanta because I didn't want to spend time doing my nails. So that is what that looks like. Nicely um, shimmery. And it is oh, this color right there. I'm getting it all over. I'm so not good with my left hand. Yeah, this has the same smell. You know, sometimes different formulations or thicker ones have different smells. And this one's just a plain cream kind. And they're all from, all called Eternal Shine Lip Glazes by, um, I forgot to show that, by J Cat Beauty. And this one's just like a, just a plain cream color called Bittersweet. 
by J Cat. And this is like one of those nudie colors. And yeah, that one's gonna be much more pigmented. Um, yeah, and I think the previous one will actually look good over top of this if I wanted to punch it up. So here is Bittersweet here. And the other one, which you can't really see how shimmery it is, but I think would be a nice pairing if I wanted to punch that color up a little bit. And the rest, I bought several from the um, Nana Coco um, Laugh Out Loud um, New Lip Gloss Collection. It's not new, but fairly new. This one is like a red jelly-like uh, won't this won't give a lot of color but this one's called cherry pop it is red with um some glitter in it shimmer in it or whatever and i haven't tried any of these um yet this actually will give actually has some color payoff so Right here is Cherry Pop. The next one is another red. This one is a lot deeper and has is more shimmer type. And this one is called um, Feeling You. <laughs> It's not as bright, but it does have some shimmer. So I'm actually, and I didn't notice that at first. So this is actually going to be pretty pigmented. Wow. Yeah, this is kind of like a, like a, almost like brick type red. Maybe not like a bright. Um, and it's this one right there. So nicely pigmented, I must say. And this is feeling you. I'm almost tempted to put this one on just to see. But there's another one that I wanted. To, well, let me just try it. Let's. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Um. Decent color. I mean, not too bad. I'd have to layer it up. And it's really thin, it's not sticky. I mean, decent color, not bad at all. If you didn't want to go with like a bright, bold, like bam, in your face red, like the um, Rimmel show off collection this would be like a good alternative but you got to be careful with applying it because it looks like it's like wiping itself off so excuse my horrible application I'm rushing but I mean not bad um, pleasant smell I mean, again, it feels really nice on the lips, and this would be something you could always grab a, you know, a lip pencil, fill in your lips and put this over top of it, or just wear it alone. I mean, it's a nice red. Um, and not like a really bright in your face red if you're really not ready for that type of red. So, not bad. Let me... This has kind of almost like a florally scent to it. This next one is called Desert Trip, also from the Live Out Laugh Out Loud. The rest of these are all from the Laugh Out Loud. And I'm trying to move a little bit quicker so I can get through this and not make this hella long. And this one is nicely pigmented. Kind of reminds me here is. Um, desert trip right here on the top mm. 
<clears throat> this next one is a deep brownish burgundy and this is called Color Yeppy. Hmm. I don't know who comes up with some of these names, but that's what it's called. But this is like a deep I don't know, burgundy, like brick red. Oh, that's really nice. And again, it's kind of sheer. So this is going to be one that it looks darker in the tube than what it will actually show up on your lips. So the one on top there is Color Yeppy. So it looks darker in the tube than on your lips. And this next one is like very, very gorgeous. Um, I really want to try this one on. And this one is called In My Way. And it's like a purplish burgundy with some shimmer in it. And I think this will make a great, like, just nice, perfect, everyday color. This one seems like it, it is going to be a little bit more opaque. And just a nice, like... It's on top here. So that is in my way. Can't wait to try that one out. Mm, you know what? I just so can't wait. I know it's making a video longer, but I just really want to try that one. Yeah, this is a nice, a nice, like, deep color, but not, like, overly, like, vampy deep, but just a nice, and I could get away with this on a regular basis. So, I really like this one. Yeah, this is probably going to be one of my favorites from this collection of lip glosses. And again, this one is In My Way. Very nice. And again, they're not sticky. They're really nice feeling on the lips. And they have like a subtle, like, I don't know, like I said, kind of like a floral scent. This next one is Goldenrod. This would be something that like if I wanted to kind of change up like the cut the look or like with a deep color maybe just add some here in the middle there yeah it's this one's going to be, I think, much more pigmented, yeah, because it is a much shimmery color. So that one can help tone down something, give a slight different look to a darker color, or just punch up like a bland neutral color. This next one is called Love My Poodle. I love my poodle. And this is like a kind of like a muted shimmery gold like the other one, just not as vivid. Um, yeah, this one would be another like topper. And that is right there. That one looks kind of chalky, but... And this next one is like a pinky, tanny shimmer color, and it's Call Me Babe. And I got one more to show you. Okay, 
and this one's actually pretty pigmented because it's more of a metallic and that one is right here call me babe it is a pinky shimmery color this can punch up something or you could wear it as it is got stuff everywhere and then this last one is like a bronzy coppery color and it is called night shine This is actually very pretty. And that one is there. A shimmery kind of pinky reddish. I don't know, it's hard to describe this color, but there you have it. And those are the other lip gloss swatches so that is the last of the lip glosses oh my goodness and next are the nail polishes that I purchased um, I purchased quite a few clean colors I think the majority of what I got are clean colors um, they were only 99 cents um, they had a bunch that I didn't see that in several, I mean, their polishes are kind of spread several different places throughout the store. So, um, I picked up some different ones that I had not seen in the regular, the little rack that they had the rest of them in. Um, and I picked up a couple, um... Nana Cocos, which I'm not sure if I have these, and I don't know why I didn't check my app to make sure, but I was trying to hurry up. This just was on the, the day we were leaving. It was a last minute stop. Okay, so the two Nana Coco polishes that I picked up, these are from the HD Crystal set. And this one is called Eva's Memory, and I want to say I think I do have this one, but not a hundred percent sure this next one is this really bright pink and this is called hologram maze i'm almost i think i have this one as well now that i think about it but again these were i think dollar 99 maybe 2.99 and then i picked up two china glaze summer rain i had to pick that up because of the name huh. this is like a this is going to be like an iridescent type pinky color. Just very simple and pretty. And this next one is called Delight. It's a metallic y one. Not sure how opaque it's going to be, but like a pinky brown, taupey color. And then I picked up one, a matinee by um, Cher Moya. This is a matte polish. I have one other one like this, and it's very pretty and dries pretty quickly. This is like a bronzy brown color, and this is called Hollywood. And then I picked up one um, L.A. Girl splatter.